Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chief Operating Officer and Executive Vice President, Kia America, Steve Center. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. You know, I asked for an exciting way to make an entrance today. They told me this would be exciting, and it really was. In fact, it's the most fun I've had in a car in a very long time. In fact, I've just got some great news. The 2023 EV6 is a North American Utility Vehicle of the Year finalist. And this version of it, the all-new EV6 GT, is the quickest, most exclusive, most powerful Kia in history. And it's an EV. We officially introduced the EV6 GT at the Quail during Monterey Car Week where it shared the lawn with a number of vehicles it's capable of out accelerating. Although at less than $62,000, you'll pay quite a bit less for the thrill in this car. EV6 GT takes the already powerful EV6 and adds larger dual motors with a total horsepower of 576. Z-rated Goodyear Eagle F1 tires, lightweight 21-inch alloy wheels, upgraded ventilated disc brakes with neon green calipers, and subtle front fascia and rear aero modifications. It can rocket from zero to 60 in only 3.4 seconds with a top speed of 161 miles per hour. We're confident EV6 GT will be a hit with tech-minded performance enthusiasts. And guess what? It's making its way to Kia showrooms as we speak. Speed and performance aren't the only things that make EV6 GT exciting. For us at Kia, it's also a thrilling symbol of where our brand stands today. EV6 GT represents the strength of our brand, our competitive attitude, our momentum, and our progress on Plan S. Kia is a brand on the move, and 2022 has brought us several milestones to celebrate. On October 21, Kia America celebrated its 30th year in business. In those three short decades, we sold over 10 million vehicles. The 10 millionth was an EV6, and we provided it to the new owners, Monty and Jonathan, at no charge, while also donating to several of their favorite charities. And our momentum continues. Following a record third quarter sales performance, Sales of our electrified models more than doubled year over year, leading to our best ever October. Sportage Hybrid and Plug-in Hybrid led the pack with a 118% increase, while four other models posted double-digit sales increases led by Seltos at 37%. As proud as we are of our success at Kia, it's not enough for us unless we turn that success into meaningful change in progress not just for us, but for the communities we're a part of, including the global community. That's the spirit behind Plan S, the long-term plan that will guide us on our path to becoming a leader in sustainability. Plan S is the motivation for our global partnership with the Ocean Cleanup, which is dedicated to both removing plastic from our oceans and stemming the flow of it from our rivers. In fact, Interceptor 007 was just deployed nearby in Los Angeles County's Bologna Creek. The 73-foot barge is expected to collect between 30 to 50 tons of trash during the annual storm season, keeping it off the nearby beaches and out of the ocean. Interceptor 007 is a part of a two-storm season pilot project with LA County's Department of Public Works. Our role in Ocean Cleanup Partnership is to support their cleanup activities and to find new uses for the plastics that they retrieve from the ocean. Of course, another aspect of Plan S is providing exciting and affordable electrified driving choices to our customers. That's where the new 2023 Kia Nero comes in. The Nero continues to be the only vehicle in America to offer three electrified powertrain choices. All three of those variants are now available to our customers. But this is just the beginning. 
We're planning to introduce an EV model in all of the core segments of the U.S. automotive industry. The next will be the Kia EV9, our first all-electric SUV, which we announced at this show last year and have confirmed for production next year. Another way Kia is moving forward by giving back is through our manufacturing investments in Georgia. Last month, we celebrated the groundbreaking of the Hyundai Motor Group Meta Plant America in Savannah, Georgia. The Meta Plant builds on the success of our existing facility in West Point, Georgia, adding more than 8,000 new jobs, which will be dedicated to the production of EVs and batteries. As we invest more in battery electric technology, we also recognize that not everyone is ready for an electric vehicle. And we remain committed to delivering an exceptional lineup of ICE vehicles as well. Look no further than our aggressive push toward SUV leadership. Let's start with Telluride, which has been a smash hit with our customers and is projected to have its best ever sales year. We're not resting on our loyals. We've made our most awarded vehicle even better for 2023 with design and tech enhancements, including a curved dual 12.3 inch digital display screen, standard navigation, and digital key to touch. Plus, we've added the new X-Line and x trims that our customers have loved on the Sorento and Sportage. We're not only making Telluride better, we're making more of them. We've increased Telluride production capacity 20%, up to 120,000 units in response to the overwhelming demand since its launch. Sportage is another key model getting a production boost. This year, we've seen strong growth in segment share. In 2023, we expect it to remain our volume leader. To prepare for this, we expanded production to our Georgia plant to reinforce expected year-over-year -year growth of more than 30%. Sorento is also growing with sales up more than 5% year-over-year as of October. More than half of our buyers choose our rugged Sorento X-Line. More than 60% are new to Kia, and overall they're younger than the average in the segment. And that brings us to the new Kia Seltos, the vehicle we're here to showcase today. Since its launch nearly three years ago, Seltos has quickly become a hot seller with a turn rate 16% faster than other Kia models. Let's take a look at how it will maintain that momentum. Gonna reach for the sky, hands up if you wanna see me do it. Gonna move to new heights. Hands up if you wanna see me do it. I'm uh, gonna turn it up, make it loud, look at you. Hands up if you wanna move. Hands up to the roof when I count two, three. Hands up to the roof if you're BAD. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vice President Marketing. Kia America, Russell Wager. Good afternoon. Well, here it is, the new Kia Seltos in our new Pluton Blue color, designed to catch the eyes of those who are looking for something more stylish and different. Seltos is an important vehicle for us, with a third of our buyers under age 35 and almost half of them coming to us from other brands. Thanks to successful launches of models like Seltos and our more capable X-Line and X-Pro series, Kia has made the largest gain in brand opinion among Gen Y and Gen Z buyers than any other mainstream brand during the past four years. It's an ideal vehicle for introducing customers to Kia, winning their loyalty, and helping us build lasting relationships with them. That's why we've made a substantial investment in updating the vehicle in the areas that matter to this customer. Our research shows that Seltos customers use their vehicles more actively than owners of competitive vehicles in the segment. They take more vacation trips in their Seltos. They use it for more hauling and home projects. They more often transport friends, family, and pets, meaning all of the seats in their vehicle 
or more frequently occupied. They also use it for hobbies, such as hunting and fishing, which means Celtos also sees a bit more off-road action than its direct competitors. In fact, nearly 80% of Celtos buyers chose the all-wheel drive version. With that in mind, we've given Celtos a more rugged, yet refined appearance for the 2024 model year. On the outside, you'll notice a larger, more SUV-like tiger nose grille and a sophisticated star map signature headlamp with available full projection LEDs. The new front bumper design gives it a stronger, more confident stance. Along the side, we see the new geometric wheel designs. And around the back, the rear combi lamp and center garnish have been reimagined for 2024. And now, to better serve its busy, on-the-go owners, Celtos has added an available power tailgate to conveniently open and close the back with the push of a button. On the inside, we redesigned Celtos with our unique customers in mind. More so than any other group, Celtos buyers see technology as an extension of themselves. So we've packed the new model with the best tech we have to offer. The dash features a first in segment panoramic display that houses two 10 and a quarter inch screens providing nearly two feet of data right there in front of the driver. That's in addition to the existing collection of technologies already featured on Celtos, including Kia Connect with Alexa and Google Home integration, and now with available digital key to touch, plus a robust suite of driver sick technologies. The enhancements continue with the performance of this new Celtos. Its 1.6 liter turbo GDI engine cranks out 195 horsepower. That's a significant increase of 20 horsepower over the outgoing model. Celtos also upgrades from a seven speed dual clutch transmission to an eight speed automatic transmission. Further refinements in road and wind noise up the game for a vehicle in this segment. It's all about providing the potent performance, advanced technology, versatile capability and affordability our youthful or young at heart customer is looking for. And they'll find it in Kia dealerships early next year. Now, one more thing before we wrap. With the holidays approaching and the spirit of giving becoming more top of mind for all of us, I want to add to what Steve said about Kia's commitment to positive progress and change in everything we do. That's the mission of Kia's Accelerate the Good charitable initiative. Through the Accelerate the Good program, we have provided more than $14 million to those in need across the US since 2019. Under Accelerate the Good, we will continue to support all the communities we're a part of. That's why as part of the Metaplant groundbreaking celebrations, Kia announced donations to several Georgia charities, including St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Out of all the causes we support, nothing is more important than the lives of our children. So today, we'd like to announce an expansion of our support for St. Jude and invite our customers to help us. As part of our 2022 year-end event, from now through December 31st, Kia will donate a portion of the purchase price of each Kia vehicle sold in the US to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Following on a record third quarter, we expect a strong sales close to the year, enabling us to deliver a donation of at least $1 million to St. Jude. to help them continue their important life-saving work. That would enable us to help St. Jude patients like Alexander, who is here with us today along with his family. They've come all the way from Oklahoma to show us the good work St. Jude does. There's Alec. So Alexander was a bright, energetic first grader with the spirit of a leader when his brain tumor was discovered in 2017. Thanks to St. Jude's committed, targeted treatment, he's back to being an outgoing student, fisherman, 
baseball player, enjoying a vibrant, cancer-free life. Thanks to the entire family for taking the time. Thank you, sir. Through Plan S, through great products, through Accelerate the Good, and through the Kia dealers that represent us in every community across the country, we will continue to look for ways to share the fruits of our success and give back to the communities and people who make us successful. Thank you for joining us today. Here's to a safe and happy holiday season for all. Now, please join us for a closer look on stage and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.